Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Resident Evil 5. We are in chapter 3, I think. With me as always is my good friend Dalton. Say hello. Hello. Um, um, Thanksgiving and shit. Indeed. Do I have... No, I don't have enough to... Are there treasures to sell? Should be if you haven't sold any yet. Yeah, there are. So yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This should be going up um, technically on Thanksgiving Day, early in the morning. Uh, and before we begin, I just want to say that um, I'll probably miss a few days because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm probably not going to edit then, and then Friday I'm going over to my brother's. For um, to watch his uh, dogs over the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday I'll be gone, which means the earliest that I can record or ed edit another episode after this one will be um, Monday. And we'll probably record enough episodes that I can post on Monday and we won't have to record the moment that I get back. Yeah. You can put that magnum ammo in your inventory as well. Save some space. Uh, remove? Okay. Um... Wait, should I get the next, uh... Should I... Should I buy the next... Any more weapons, or no? You should be good with what you have now, because your handgun right now is actually pretty good compared to the one you can buy. It's actually better, I think. At this point in time. Yeah, I probably uh, can. Let's see. Uh, let's upgrade that then. Uh, how much do I have? 24,000. That's max power. I can't upgrade that. I can upgrade the capacity. Let's um, go down to shotgun. Upgrade firepower. I can't upgrade. Free load speed. I can upgrade the capacity, though. That's... Yeah, because the special ability of the gun, the handgun you have now is like that higher critical chance, which is really useful from headshots. Let's upgrade the machine gun capacity some, and uh, that's all I can do for now. Let's get started, shall we? Yep. So I bought a 4K TV over the summer, right? You, I've already mentioned that, I think. Yeah, I think so. And I didn't have anything to play it in 4K. Well, GameStop recently had a sale on... Oh, cutscene. I better shut up watch the cutscene. Otherwise, I'm not going to know what's going on in the stupid story this game has. Comic book ass story. Wait. He can't have gone too far. Josh. Thanks. The boat's on fire. <laughs> yeah, this this chapter's kind of annoying. I'm on it. Got you, Kevin. Anyway, they had a sale on the Xbox One X for uh, seventy dollars off. That's not bad. So 
And I was like, well, I have the money to afford that right now, so let's go do that. So I went to, and got that. I wasn't expecting to get one till next month, and I don't didn't buy any games with it. It came with Fallout 76, which I have not played yet. I'm sure that's going to be a blast. Based off reviews, yeah. <laughs> But, um, thus far, I'm really liking it. Like, I, I I plugged it into my thing, I updated it, and then I set it up on my, uh, HDTV with my, and, uh, the man cave. And, um... I started installing all of the games that I own that are backwards compatible. And it turns out I got about 29, 30 games for the, between the Xbox and the Xbox 360 that work on this thing. And as a backwards compatible machine, it's fucking amazing. It plays all of them in uh, 4K. It, it doesn't have native 4K support for all of them. It has to get a specific Xbox One X enhancement for that. Yeah. But if it doesn't play it in native oh, 4K, shit. it, uh, shit. It will upscale to 4K, which is really nice. So every single Xbox and Xbox 360 game that I have that's backwards compatible on this thing plays in 4K, and it's not like if you're worried about the backwards compatibility on this because the backwards compatibility on the Xbox 360 was ass, you shouldn't be because it's a lot better than that. So there's a bigger like a list of games that are backwards compatible this time around. Well, the, the, it wasn't of... the problem. Like the Xbox. The Xbox 360 worked with most original Xbox games, it just wasn't very good. Oh, yeah. God damn it, I kept missing. It had all kinds of, like, it would have frame rate issues and bugs that weren't present on the original and shit like that. I don't want that. Oh, oh god. god damn, what the fuck just happened? Okay, you two know what to do. So, so it's bad enough. Oh, can the, you give uh, me that um that green herb you just picked up like have a green herb of mine too? Okay. Hang on. Yeah, it's bad some. enough on the Where'd that green orb go? Okay. Dunkashin. It's bad enough on the uh, Xbox 360 that for any games that I would just prefer to play them on original hardware, even though I can yeah. play them in HD on the 360, it's going to be buggy as shit and what the fuck? Yeah, there's turrets. Oh no. There, I got him. There's another green herb. Over here. Get the stuff up here. Like when I did my uh, hit review of the first Halo for the channel, I recorded that on the original Xbox. I could have gotten an HD output through the Xbox 360, but again, it doesn't. Uh, I forgot there was a cover mechanic in this game. Yeah. 
Shit. Um, do I have a healing? I do not. There's a there's an area back here where there, there's a new shotgun you can get back here. But there should be some items as well as like first aid sprays and whatnot. You want some uh, rifle ammo? Yeah. Hang I'm on. Searching over here. There's another green herb over here. Oh yeah. Yeah. But, uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Every game on the 360, uh, on the Xbox One, has improved uh, performance, like the... Uh, there we go. Shit. Obviously, uh, they either run natively at 4K, like Fallout 3 does, and boy does Fallout 3 look sharp as shit on the console. I mean, it looks really, really good on it in 4K. Um, they either have uh, 4K support like that, or it will upscale it to 4K. and. Even the upscale, you get like 16x anti-aliasing and something else for every single game that runs on the Xbox One X, which is really nice. It, it creates a sharper image, really, is what it does, and it looks really good, dude. Yeah, I really want to get one just to have my games look like that, honestly. That's the main reason I want one. Well, I've been trying out a bunch of my games on it, and I installed every single game that I have that runs on it. And they all run really well. Yeah, there's a shotgun in that uh, briefcase. I like a better one. Okay, so should I get rid of mine? Did you upgrade it? Upgraded it all? Yes, I've upgraded it a bunch. Oh shit. Here, just give me that, um. That grenade or magnum ammo. I can hold that for you. Because you can sell that shotgun and make some. a little money off of it. <laughs> I'll probably upgraded. keep it and upgrade it, like, at a later playthrough or something. Yeah. Where'd you go? Going back over where the, the lovers are. We have to pull them down at the same time. But yeah, I'm really fucking happy to have something that plays at 4K. And, and it'll do 4K Blu-rays, which unfortunately the... Uh, The, uh, X, the PS4 Pro won't, which kind of sucks. Yeah, sucks. I don't know why it won't. I don't know why they... It seems like such an obvious inclusion for a feature, and they didn't do yeah. it. And... Yeah, I, wish, I really wish it did, too, because I really want to get a PS4 Pro. Yeah. But I also want to get an Xbox One X for the fact that it, it would also uh, let me have a new HD player as well. Yeah. So I won't have to get one separately. That I'm really impressed with. Like, it, it's not the uh, the ultimate 4K 60 machine that 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 uh, that uh, uh, Microsoft was promising, but it is a good machine in its own right. It's very obviously significantly more powerful than the original Xbox, uh, than the original Xbox One, rather. Yeah, it is, it is, like, 
easily like the most advanced consoles out there so far. Yeah. In terms of performance and hardware and whatnot. I think its biggest problem power-wise is it's still Jaguar architecture for the processor. But We've got to do something. Yeah. Jaguar architecture so far behind the likes of Ryzen and the i cores and stuff like that. We gotta get aboard that ship. Hold on. So it's like the processor could be better. But it's still a better processor than the standard Xbox One and PS4 Pro. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Another turret section? Yeah, oh, yeah. You remember the sea monster like, boss battle? Yeah. Yeah, this is coming up and it's annoying. Del Lago. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's kind of like the one from Revelations 1, if I remember correctly. Mm. Well, there was a... What's that? I need to let's play that sometime. That's a good game. Yeah, it is. I wish it was co-op. I wish the single player was anyway. Yeah. I'm going to have to wind up playing a lot of single player Resident Evil games without you. You're just commentating oh, yeah. along with me. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun to do. It's always fun watching gameplay of that. Watching people play it. Yeah. But not anymore. Don't do it! Uh oh. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Uh oh. Tentacle monster. Well, it is Japan. Yeah. God damn it. Pretty sure every every build the office building with more than one story has at least one level solely dedicated to the creation of tentacle. Any excuse. <laughs> Any excuse necessary. Oh, this is so obnoxious sometimes. This is, this is so hard with AI because the AI is really bad here. Chris, that is report. What the hell is that thing? Just get out of here, Josh. It's oh, too dangerous. There he is. We'll try to stop it. It's so hard to, like, time the shots right with this thing. Die, bitch! There we go. Yeah! Wait, we weren't done. I thought he was gonna move to like another side of the ship or something. Well, fuck you too, dude. They actually made the uh, thumbsticks a little bit smaller on the Xbox One X. It kind of takes a little bit to get oh, used shit. to. Oh shit! He's behind you. If you're used to the. Uh, He's gone now. Oh, oh shit. Tentacle. Oh, now I'm getting Japan. Getting Japaned. Yeah. Japan's major export. Tentacle form. You don't get hen tied to death.
There goes one. Two. Three. There. Four. There we go. Oh, great more. Oh. Get back on the gun. Back on the gun. There goes one. Come on, Del Lago. There. You should spawn behind us now. Or after this. There he is. Suck this shit. Where'd you go, ass munch? Oh, uh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, what the fuck happened? So annoying. Oh my god. So annoying. Now he's over here. God damn, this is so obnoxious. Let my gun cool down and then continue fire. Up, oh, more tentacles. There goes one. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. I always forget how hard to vibrate this this particular controller vibrates. Yeah. Here we go. Oh boy. Yeah, shoot, shoot the. I don't know what you would even call this motherfucker. I don't know, but it reminds me of uh, Sadler, the Sadler fight. Ah! I almost fucked fuck that up. Uh, I got it. Ugh. Where'd you go, ass douche? Come on, ass douche, die already. There we go. Did we get him? Yeah. First try. Hell yeah. That was a short lived antagonist for the series. Yeah. <laughs> what are you planning to do? Damn it, fella. I guess it wasn't worth it. Where is this facility? Answer me. What is the Ouroboros project? Do you say yeah? Wow, you two are just on top of everything, aren't you? The balance of the world is changing and you're completely oblivious to it. What's changing? What are you talking about? Is it the Ouroboros project? Is that it? <laughs> no one can stop it. Ouroboros is about to change everything we've ever come to know. Chris! Chris? See your Chris. <laughs> What's so funny? How do you know about me? Oh, your answer's a way to head Chris. In that cave. If you can survive long enough to get them. <laughs> Italian's not so bad, but it's not gonna change anything. You're still screwed! We're wasting time here. Yeah, that's right. A slug. Now what? We keep going. I don't feel sorry for him. Yeah. I barely knew anything about him in the first place. Yep, he's in about half of a game. That's about it. 
All right. Hell yeah. Ricardo Irving, file and library. All right, let's continue. Let's, uh... No, treasures. What, what do we have for new treasures? Uh, that. Sell. And that. Sell. Put that in my inventory. I guess I can't upgrade that capacity anymore. I have enough to upgrade the firepower there. Purchase for all the reload speed I can get. That all I can upgrade it? It looks like I can fill that bar out some more. Oh well. Which one you upgrading? Uh I was upgrading the shotgun. Oh. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> I've actually, I actually went and put a bunch of a bunch of games for the Xbox 360 on my uh, on my uh, on my uh, library on my uh, Amazon wish list because I was like, you know what, I could stand to play that again in 4K. Hell yeah! <laughs> the place he was talking about. That's the boat the woman used to get away. Sheva's got nice tatas. You got that right. <laughs> this costume, I swear. And I swear this costume makes him bigger. Probably. This is not just about Jill. But the God damn it, Capcom. As well. I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you. I will call the HQ and try to get the withdrawal order rescinded. I will also try to get you back up. Try not to get yourself skewed. You know what's kind Bye, of Josh. You know what's kind of weird? It's been a week now. IGN and GameStop and GameSpot still have not posted their reviews of Fallout 76. That name mm, it makes you wonder. Yeah, it makes you wonder why <laughs> what they're waiting for. The the thing they're scared of. They don't know what to do. It's possible, but I don't have any proof. They probably, got, they probably got money from Bethesda to advertise, and they don't want to give them a bad review. Not sure. Something like that. They're just going to ignore it. We're bound to find out. Something True. like that, but the, even the preview, even the the uh, review in progress videos that uh, that uh, games, games uh, IGN rather, has done, it's like, yeah, this game's really not that good. And that's been the general consistence of consistency consensus of most reviews about the highest score that I've seen is ironically a 7.6 it's definitely not worth sixty dollars yeah you know, the only reason I own it is because it came with the console I bought god damn it get your ass back here I wonder if I can find one the same one for around the same price. It's going on sale for uh, uh, Black Friday. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, God, there's a whole shit. Uh, Fallout 76 going on sale for Black Friday for about $20 off. Take that to mean what... Oh, you already got whatever's up here. Take that to mean whatever you will. 
but it's already going on sale. <laughs> and take long. But yeah, I'm sure the Xbox One X. God damn it! Get the fuck off me. Oh shit! Hang on. You piece of shit. 